thanks for coming. Well, I'm wearing my plaid shirt again um, in honor of the guy that, that had a comment on my ISOD videos. He said, who knew that nuts wear plaid? <laughs> well, I guess he laughs last, last best. Unfortunately, I happen to be more right than him. Uh, I will. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna add the link to my description to where they have the video of ice and debris field and a comment about the tweet from NASA saying they're watching it. So this is the first acknowledgement of the debris field by NASA to the public. Well, okay, so let's put everything in perspective. When I started out on this thing here, I had no idea why I was getting involved with this thing with ISON. I'm much more concerned about religious things than what I would consider to be a secular thing. And there's a reason why God has manifested this now and sometime maybe I'll talk about that. But I want to talk about uh, what to do about ISON. Uh, in the video they're talking about the debris field coming from the middle of January to the end. Well, I'm not so certain. If you go look at solar ham data, the majority of the of the of the light being blocked uh, is getting is getting less. So some of the debris is already coming and going past us. I think that we will have the majority of the meteors that are going to strike Earth come in the time period between um, January the 10th and January the 16th. That's what the solar ham data seems to be showing. Okay, so we've seen some meteors, the meteor activity is picking up. Uh, I think we will have a huge burst of meteor activity from the 10th to the 16th. I think there will be some large meteors like what's happened up in Iowa, in Alberta, in Russia, will continue. If one of those hits a city, it's going to be pretty devastating. But I'm not concerned about the cyanide cloud that I was originally because even though there's going to be cyanide, it's going to, it doesn't persist in the environment long enough to build up. So Mike Slack's calculation worked out. So I don't know what to do about being in a path of a, of a meteor. I think that's the, the most dangerous thing. One of the things, though, is that, like Matt, the guy that has a prediction that Rome is going to be hit, said that his sister had a dream and she was dreamt in a rocket ship which was flying parallel to the Earth 
um, hit, a, hit a wall. Well, so that means that people are interpreting things in their own, and he, he didn't tell her anything about this. So this is, uh, for him to have it come out of her mouth was extraordinary. So what I'm telling you is that people are precognitive. A lot of people have premonitions, and they come true. And uh, so one of the things that I'm thinking of doing is finishing my book on the I Ching, which tells you how to enhance and magnify that ability. But suffice it to say, okay, so that the, if you're a listener to this, the biggest danger to you, which is small, is that you will be in the path of a meteor. What I'm saying is, is that uh, you can keep track of this um, through people's dreams and, and lucid dreaming, feelings that you have, prayers that you have, like you can pray at night before you go to bed to know what, what's going to happen to you and God will answer. One of the things, and you know, so I was thinking about all this. Why did God have me go through all this? Why did he even make me think of the thing of cyanide? You know, God is called the great permitter. And I think one of the reasons is, is that the uh, it made me realize as I was going through this is how ill-equipped we are if we don't know something is coming. So then the real answer is, well, how do you determine when something is coming that you haven't seen? And the answer is, if you're just on the spiritual path and you don't have psychic ability, for instance, Patanjali's Yoga Sutras, the very first power, superpower, that Patanjali talks about in the third chapter is the ability to predict the future and the past and see the past. And we're going into a time period when the need to know things is becoming, in advance, is becoming more and more prominent. Okay, so let's see. Ison Field is here. Okay, we have pictures of it now. We have NASA saying that it's coming. They're aware of it. Okay, they're is going to be meteors more than what's hell in Iowa. Okay? Big hunks. And the, the latest video, if you look at it, shows the meteor coming straight down. Okay? Well, that may, or may, that may be more of them like that. But some of them will, will shoot across the sky. We'll have a whole assortment. Okay, you don't need to fear the cyanide poisoning just yet. Okay, if, it, if anything, this is not the third trumpet of Revelation, it's at most the first. There, 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 are, there are warnings that are given. Okay, so you can do lucid dreaming, and you can do ask the I Ching, and you can go to a psychic. Uh, <laughs> I once drove by, uh, you know, they have these psychics by the road. I once drove by a psychic, 
house was burned down. I went what through my mind. Is, well, they didn't know it was coming. Anyway, inside joke. Okay. Um, so you can relax for the most part. A very small percentage of you are not even going to be affected by this. So I apologize if I alarmed you unnecessarily. But I think we're going to have a spectacular show in the next week or so. Who knows what God has in store for us after that. Thank you.